What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mod Squad Network Gamer Show. I'm your host this week, Kevin, joined by the lovely and talented Harley. What is up, everybody? How's it going this week? Have you had yourself a good week so far? As as you take a drink, <laughs> it, don't my throat's bothering me today. Yeah, don't it suck when somebody asks you a question right as you're about to take a drink or something like that? Freaking hate that. All right, guys, before we get going any farther, we need to take care of the people who take care of us, our sponsors. Check out Skullect Me by Jolt7 Studios. Scan a QR code. It'll take you straight to their uh, Facebook page. Lisa does amazing work. No school, no two skulls are alike. Uh, Scott Strike Art. Go to his website by scanning that QR code or scottstrackerart.storeenv.com. He has some great deals all the time. All you got to do is uh, go over there, order yourself some art. Harley has some of his art right behind her, actually, if you want to check that out. So definitely check that mess out right there. That's my favorite. To Matthew Lillard. I get it. Yeah. I get it. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into the gamer news because there's actually some decent news that came out this week. Uh, I'm going to pass it over to Harley. What you got for your first item, Harley? Okay, so Dragon Dogma 2 world is much larger larger than fans thought. So Dragon, Dragon Dogma 2 is finally releasing next week. Something fans have been waiting for for more than a decade. The action RPG is taking the original game and pumping it full of all kinds of content. In fact, one of the goals of Dragon Dogma's 2 director um, and his team is to create a single player ex- experience that feels like a like an MMO, MMORPG. Try saying that fast. <laughs> to do that, the team needs to needs a massive map full of things to do and characters to interact with. Fortunately, it seems that developers at Capcom have more than delivered. In an interview, they were asked about the map size. They made it clear that the map in Dragon Dogmas 2 might even be larger than the developers first thought. Originally, the team claimed that the map was four times larger, but it sounds like that I'd actually be on the low end. Ooh, low end of four times, man. That's 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 nice. I like that. I like that. I have some news as well, guys. The makers of Destiny Two. That's right. Check it out. Boom, getting some Ghostbusters content. The makers of Destiny 2 announced a new collaboration with the Ghostbusters franchise, introducing new cosmetic items available for purchase at the Ever <clears throat> at the Eververse store later this month, giving players more options with how to personalize their guardian. The new gear ar- officially arrives on March 19th. Uh, Days before Sony's upcoming Ghostbusters Frozen Empire film, which hits theaters on March 22nd. So the timing certainly makes a lot of sense. Uh, So what's going to be available? Let's take a look, guys. Let's take a look. Boom. This is what you can get. That's pretty awesome. It is. It is. You get yourself an Ecto-1 inspired ship, a Slimer ghost shell, a Sparrow based on the villain of the upcoming film. Now, as of right now, there's no price point for these items, but if it's like any of the other previous collaborations, you you can purchase as a bundle or individually. So that's, that's what I have for Destiny right there. That sounds pretty cool that they're going to incorporate Ghostbusters, uh, Frozen Empire. And I think there's going to be quite a few games that do that uh, coming up because Ghostbusters is super popular. Okay. So I've got Dead by Daylight update. As new killer, survivor, and map patch notes have been released. There's a lot of notes for this, guys, so I will be putting the link down in the bottom 
for this one because there was a lot of notes for this update. Mm -hmm. Um, So for the new killer, it's going to be the unknown. And new survivor, these are just the ones that I'm telling you. A new survivor is going to be Sable Ward. And the new map will be be in Greenville Square. There is a lot, a lot of notes for this patch. So check the comments below and you will get all those updates. Very cool, very cool. As previously mentioned here on the Mod Squad Gamer Show, by the way. All right, guys. Um, a little follow up from last week. Uh, Warner Brothers, was it the multiverse? The Warner Brothers multiverse now has an official launch date, but don't take it from me. Take it from the developers themselves. They released an official trailer uh, for the release date, so let's take a look. It is three minutes long, though. But it's pretty badass. Let's check it out. I don't say. Is there coffee? Everybody settle, please. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to work. Okay, ready to roll? Get centered. Showtime. <laughs> Sound. Showtime. Quiet. Camera. See one, take one, mark. Camera set. And action. Hi, everyone. I'm Tony, game director of Multiverses and co founder of Player First Games. I'm excited to share that our free to play platform fighter, Multiverses, is launching on May 28th. There's your Harley. The team has heard your feedback. We've learned a lot from our open beta. We've been hard at work, and we'd like to give you a sneak peek of what we've been up to. There's my Superman. From day one, we set out to make a game that not only packs a punch, but makes a mark on the game genre we love. Here at PFG, it's always been our aspiration to make a platform fighter that you'll love as much as we do. We've been working hard on a variety of changes and updates to deliver an improved gameplay experience, so let's get into it. A core aspect of Multiverses is our wealth of iconic characters in the game, with fun-filled competition set against the backdrop of reimagined universes and environments. So I'm happy to say we'll be adding some really exciting, brand new personalities to the roster, along with more stages from worlds we have yet to explore. Another foe for me to crush. We move to Unreal Engine oh, 5, so much which will improve the game's visuals and character lighting. So in other words, shaggy sandwiches have never looked better. Pastrami on fire! That's off. We've rebuilt the game from the ground up to support our new netcode, to provide consistent, world-class online play. So every hit, dodge, and battering will be delivered with pinpoint accuracy. There'll be consistent game performance no matter what platform you're playing on, There'll be new attacks and combat mechanics for each character, putting more skill expression in your hands. We honestly can't wait to see what you come up with. The balance of power is restored. One of the things we're most excited to announce is a brand new PvE mode that'll offer a new way to play outside of competitive PvP. This new mode will introduce additional ways of playing with unique rewards. I'm ready for more. Lastly, we're thrilled to announce that we'll soon be launching the Illudium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator that'll destroy the Earth cut, once cut. and for all. Marvin, stop hacking the teleprompter. Your gadgets mean nothing, <laughs> Earth man. Take three, Mark. This is a small glimpse of what we have in store for Multiverses. We'll be sharing a lot more details in the coming weeks. From all of us at Player First Games and Warner Brothers Games, we cannot wait to play Multiverses with you on May 28th. Until then, the end. Guys, I wasn't done. Sorry, Doc. Awesome. Harley, do you have any videos to... Yes, I do. So we're going to stay right here in the media room, and we're going to go ahead and check out whatever Harley has for us. So I'm excited for Multiverse, though. I'm excited. What you got for us, okay. Harley? It is said that time marches to the beat of a drum. A fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, 
without remorse. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. If the drum drives the rhythm, then the river directs the flow. Let's do this together. How many mountains must you move to alter the river below? Let us not forget the pain of Master Shoin and the countless others who have suffered. As the smoke rises, so shall we. Rise of the Ronin, okay. Umois, our veiled edge will sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? This comes out March 22nd, guys. Cool. I'm excited for both of these now. That game looks pretty badass. Rise of the Ronin. It looked awesome when he jumped up in the air and the the, the oh, thing the... flew out. Looked like wings. Oh, the kite. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, I it kind of reminded me like of Ninja Gaiden. I was like, I'm like, is this a Ninja Gaiden movie or a video game that's about to come out? But no, it looked really cool and then again as stated last week i'm super excited for multiverse uh, what we've seen in the multiverse trailer we've seen of course some dc characters we've seen uh aria stark from game of thrones we've seen you know bugs taz and all those and lebron james so i'm super excited for that to come back and there could be more so they said that they're going to add more characters so i'm excited for that for sure all right, guys, you know, we here at the Mod Squad enjoy a good deal. So I got one for you. The Sony WH uh, numbers, wireless headphones, <laughs> uh, arguably, but arguably the best consumer class noise canceling headphones on the market are now available at a hundred dollar discount. Uh, right now on Amazon, you can get these $100 off. They're going from uh, $348 down to $248. So definitely, if you want the best, if you got to have the best gear, that's where to get it. You got yourself a deal right now, $100 off. Take it right off. Slashing prices. Don't know what they're doing over there. Oh, my goodness. But uh, that is all I have this week. Carly, do you have anything else? Okay, Avatar Fortunes of Pandaria update adds more than 150 improvements and to their patch notes. Guys, this will be another one that I dropped the link below because there was 150 updates done to this game. The first came out March 1st and 3.1 came out and they didn't explain the updates that came out with this. Or the improvements, but I have a list of them for you guys. So I will post that link below because there's there's a hundred and fifty of them. Too many to list. Too many to say right now. Yes. It's easy to read. I get it. I get it. All right. All right. So if you play this game or Dead by Daylight, click those links below and go look at those updates because they both have a lot of good updates coming. I like that. I like that. I like that they're updating games and stuff like that. All right, Harley, is that all you have? That is all I have. Awesome, awesome. Very cool. All right, guys, that does it for this episode of the Mod Squad Gamers Show. But make sure you check out all the other shows here affiliated with the Mod Squad Network. We got my show, which is Back to the Retro Review, where I do uh, movie reviews from retro movies. And I'm also getting into some tech reviews on there as well. Make sure you check out the last podcast you'd want. And if you're into cannabis and cannabis entertainment, make sure you check out The Daily Dank. Um, also, check out Harley's show on her channel. She has The Asylum with harley where she does some true crime stuff make sure you check out all the other shows here on the mod squad network you're watching the gamer show but we also have a horror a movie and we have conversations with the mod squad we also go live every saturday night with a giveaway 
All right, that does it for this episode of the Mod Squad Gaming Network. So for Harley, I am Kevin saying, if I don't see you again, thank you for being a friend. Bye.